Uh, Melissa, you're Detective Winooski. What's the movie about? 40 pages. Mm. Jason, you're Detective Mulligan. Brendan. It's about a guy arrested for something he didn't do. Is it a um, comedy? Yes, it's hilarious. I'll read the stage direction. Brendan, um, I don't want to be Mulligan. I want to be Winooski. No. Brendan, I'll be Mulligan. I don't care. No, nobody changes. I'm reading the stage directions. Here we go. Brendan, let us switch characters. Yeah, it's not going to kill you, Brendan. Okay, fine. Switch. Melissa, you're Mulligan, Jason, you're Winooski. Um, it's Winooski, by the way. Let's just start. Okay. Interior, unmarked police car. Morning. Mulligan and Winooski sit slurping coffee. Mulligan is behind me. Slurp. Slurp. Okay, Slurp. Mulligan's behind the wheel. Slurp. 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 They finish, Slurp. They Slurp. finish the coffee. Slurp. Slurp. Oh, they finish Slurp. that coffee. Slurp. Slurp. My head is spinning. Oh, they put that coffee down. Oh, boy, they, that coffee's going downtown. Put the coffee down! Whoa. Finally, Mulligan speaks. Hey, Winooski, you're kind of quiet this morning. Something wrong? <sighs> well, yeah. Want to talk about it? My husband is leaving me. Hmm? Whoa. Brenda, this is bad casting. Yeah, maybe I should play Winooski. Yeah. Can we take a break? No, no, you two switch. Go ahead, uh, Winooski. My husband is leaving me. I guess now would be a good time to show you how I feel, Winooski. Okay, Mulligan leans over to kiss Winooski, but Winooski isn't interested. Pucker up, Winooski. Not now, Mulligan. And besides, I'm not interested. We've got a job to do. Ouch. Rejection. I'm out of here. Ouch. Slam the door on the side of his head. Yeah. Oh, ouch. Like, a little bit harder. And do it. Ow. Harder. Ouch. 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 Ow. Then you forgot your wallet, maybe? Ow. Let me rewrite that. Do we do that one more time? Ow. Yeah. We've got a job to do. No, I don't want to. Ow. Okay, that's good, guys. Okay, scene two. Interior. Japanese bathhouse. Night. Hey, what are you making, Mom? It smells good. Grandmother's on her way over for dinner. Oh, did Grandpa die? She didn't say why she was coming. She said she was coming. I, I should work on the desserts. Oh, you know, I need a tablespoon of brown sugar. Okay. Uh, Mom, Mom, fire in the hole. Look. Holy! Whoa. <laughs> oh, my God. Brendan, don't panic. Okay. Um, ha. what do they call this a tablespoon? Brendan, get away. Woo! 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 What are you saving that for later, Mom? Bre that's that's yeah. Bre you, Brendan. Okay, it's just a small fire, Mom. Just so you know. Brendan, grab your sister and get out of the house. Can I get my movie camera first? Get no. Get your sister. Uh, go, go. Okay. And get my wallet and checkbook. They're in the third drawer. I know where they are, Mother. Brendan, how do you know where my wallet and checkbook are? What? Brendan. Yep. How do you know where my wallet and checkbook are, Brendan? Brendan. Brendan can't come to the. Hallway right now. Explanation, please. Uh, you know, we should really think about calling the fire department. Everything is under control, ma'am. Uh, thank you very much. I mean, I feel so stupid. I mean, it was such a small little fire. All big fires start with one small spark, ma'am. Right, of course. <laughs> Paula? Mom? I've left your father. Oh, my God. We're getting a divorce. Good. Maybe we could just establish right now that I have a situation going on here. Do you see the fireman? Okay, and do you see that the, the oh, kitchen is- Oh, for Pete's sake, Paula. Hi, Paula. How was your fire? I'm getting a divorce. She's in shock. I'm getting a divorce. I understand. Could I borrow that hose? <sighs> Dad, this is ridiculous. No, no, Paula, listen. If getting a divorce is what it takes for your mother and me to, you know, Move on together, as they say, and then that's so be it. What the hell are you talking about? Now, don't get upset. H how can you be so calm? Well, I've, I've had a couple of glasses of sherry. You've had what? Well, I've had six or seven glasses of sherry. Oh, it's, Dad. The Flanagan's went through the same thing down the street. But they had a cat, and I, I can't exactly remember all the details. The Flanagan's have nothing to do with oh, this. Oh, don't get upset. I, Dad. Yes, sweetheart. Okay, listen to me. You and Mom are oh, getting... Oh, jeez. I just spilled. So, uh, Grand, uh, uh, Doris? Doris, yes. Um, so, I understand there are divorce bells. Well... It was, are we cheating? So, what's the story here? I mean... What do you consider cheating? Yeah, I, I hear you. <laughs> uh, yep. I'll tell you, uh, the kids are the big losers in divorce, you know, so you, you have to keep your eye on the, the little one. Well, I just talked to Dad. 
He's heartbroken over this. Oh, please. The only way to break that man's heart would be to whack it with a sledgehammer or take away his antidepressants. Let's get something to eat. I'm starved. All right, listen up. I just found out I'm supposed to be grading you kids. But since I haven't been keeping track of anything, I'm going to have to wing it. Yay! Yay! Hey, don't think I'm giving everyone an A, because I'm not. Nobody's getting an A, because we suck. So let's start with the bidding. Who'll give me five bucks for a B plus? Coach McGurk? Mm -hmm. I always get A's. Well, not this time, Melissa. In fact, for that outburst, you're getting a D. Can I get you a cup of coffee for a B plus? For a what? B plus? It's a big step up, Melissa, for a coffee. For a coffee, it's a C. Get it? Yeah. Black, eight sugars. Hurry back. Thanks, Coach. Anyone else, Fenton? I can shine your shoes. <laughs> oh, Fenton. That's an F. F for Fenton. Coach McGurk, we can do your laundry. We'll wash your whites. Yeah, we'll wash your whites. We'll separate your colors. Perry, Perry. Yeah, Walter. Hey, Perry. Walter. We'll use fabric softener. <laughs> Wait, Perry, Perry. Yeah, Perry. All Come right, here. shut up, the both of you. You two are getting D's, and that's that. Okay. Yay! Yay, Yay D's! Yay, D's! D's. 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 Yeah. All right, A's for Walter and Perry. <laughs> Everybody run 40 laps now. Aww. It's for half a grade. Yay! <sighs> uh, Coach McGurk, I, my mom wanted to know if you knew any carpenters who could rebuild a kitchen. What am I, the help wanted, Brendan? Huh? <sighs> uh, well, no, we had a fire. She thought you might know someone because, you know, everybody... Really? Yeah. So your mom needs a man around the house, huh? Yeah. Huh. I have to... Keep running, Fenton. Well, you're in luck, Brendan. I do know somebody. I know him real well, and he works cheap. Well, uh, can I have his phone number? It's me, Brendan. Try to keep up, all right? Yeah. I'm the guy. I'll do the work. You? Yeah. I used to do construction. Your mother knows that. Yeah. That's why she's asking for me. I'd love to do it. You know, plus I could use the cash, and I'm having some work done on my place, so, uh... <sighs> Here's your coffee, Coach. <sighs> What's wrong? Uh, I got an inner ear itch. It's driving me nuts. You ever get those? Not really. All right, window. Let's see, cabinet, counter, paint, beer. All right, Paula, here's my estimate. Yeah, you can just tell it to me. Well, I'd rather write it. That's the way we do it in construction, Paula. Okay. Now, remember, that doesn't include labor or materials, so we got to have... Wait, what? Or... Oh, wait, that does include... Labor and materials. But it's an estimate, so, you know, estimates change. Constantly changing. Well, it's still cheaper than any estimates I've had. No, it's because I do cheap work, Paula. I'm going outside for a cigarette, okay? Well, hello yourself. John, uh, this is my mother, Doris. Mom, this is John McGurk. He's oh. going to redo the kitchen. How do you do? Okay, hello. good. Nice okay. to meet you. Bye, what Mom. A... Doris. M Mr. McGurk. Uh... What a lovely name Doris is. W weren't you going out for a cigarette, Mom? Um, well... Mr. McGurk, uh, I have to ask you something. You're not going to take advantage of my daughter, are you? Mom, I'm not a baby. I just don't want my money wasted. You're not paying for this. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You don't have any money for this. Ma I have money. She doesn't have money for this. She's a single I... mother. I'll be paying you, Mr. McGurk. I'm paying you. Well, you can both pay me. You know, I don't need you coming in here and saving the day. Well, somebody has to. Ugh. So what happened in here anyway? Fire? Brendan? Yeah. How come your grandmother's living here? Well, she's getting a divorce, so she's, you know, sticking around here while oh. she, like... Oh, uh, Brendan, uh, yeah. isn't your grandmother a little old for a divorce? Well, uh, see, that's the thing. You can get a divorce at any age, Jason. It doesn't matter how old or young. I mean, like, a. Uh... Yeah, but, I mean, I'm saying kind of stupid at that age to get a divorce. You mean, like, you put in the long... I mean, you're pretty much on empty anyway. You might as well just gun it. All parents get divorced eventually, so your grandparents just waited a little longer. Right. It's just, it's just a bad... Uh, Jason, your parents are still together. Oh, I forgot they're still together. Not that's listening. adorable. That's so cute. That's so that's, cute. That, you know, that is the cutest thing I think I've ever mm -hmm. heard in my life. Yes. My parents might get divorced. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, come on, Jason. <laughs> no, it's true. Oh, uh, really? Uh, my parents are on the verge of divorce. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Hi, Coach. How's the job going? What are you, my foreman, Melissa? No. Good. Me too. Hey, Brendan. Yeah. I need some tools. <clears throat> that closet... Mm hmm. Right. I don't see any tools in here, Brendan. Coach, what are you talking about? It's full of tools. I'm just used to a different type of tool. That's all. Should have brought my brand over. What is this? Hmm? 
Coach, that's a that's a ruler. Oh, I need a hammer. I guess I could use a ruler. Um, you can use that as a hammer. Yeah. Hold on to this end, and I'm gonna pull it. Hey, I'll see you later. All right. I just I keep going back. I'm gonna let it go. There you go. Ouch. That's gotta hurt. My dad used to do that to me, Brendan. See, I'm like a father figure to you. You really are. Yeah. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go out front and whoop at girls. Are you Mr. Dumper? Yes. Book a mulligan. All right, sucker. Uh, you have the right to remain silent and the right to feel my fist if you don't shut up. I didn't do anything wrong, officer. Detective. Officer detective? No, it's Detective Wunuski. No, you're Detective Mulligan. I'm Detective Wunuski. Right. That's thanks for That's remembering. Okay. Just keep going. Anyway, scum. Scumbag. But I'm innocent. That's what they all say. Ouch! That that hurts. <laughs> Isn't she something? I'm gonna marry her someday as soon as she gets a divorce. But what am I charged with? Oh, wouldn't you love to know, scum sucker? Why are you being so mean to me? I'm a cop. I think it's easy. Yeah. All right, cut. That was great, guys. Bravo, kids. Oh, Bravo. Oh, Thank you very much, Mrs. Thanks. Whatever your last name is. <laughs> uh, Brendan, is there a part in your movie for an old wannabe actress? Uh, no. Oh, come on. It looks like fun, and I haven't had some real fun in a long time. Uh, okay, uh, you can be the landlady. Brendan, can we talk about that? And action. Where are you going with Mr. Dumper? He owes me two months' rent. The state's gonna pay the rent where he's going, lady. But I need a tenant detective. Not just to pay the bills, but a woman gets lonely running her own apartment building. You know what it's like to be lonely, don't you, detective? I... Yeah, why are you touching my chest? What page are we on? Uh, uh, cut, cut, cut. Wow, that was, that was great. Doris, that, that whole new angle. That was, yeah, wow. Thank you, Brendan. I'm going outside for a cigarette. Kids, don't smoke. Thank, Thank you, Mrs. Mrs. Grimm. Oh, crap. I am not good at this. Uh, Coach, can I ask you a stupid question? Say what? Are, are you measuring that countertop after you cut it? Oh, boy, it sounds crazy when you say it. Actually, what I'm doing, Brendan, is eyeballing it, all right? That's the way real carpenters do it. They eyeball it. I, I gotta tell you, I, I sure would like to, to fool around with that thing. What, the saw? Yeah. Knock yourself out. Wow, this this feels expensive. Just press that button. All right. I'm gonna step out. Talk to you later. All right. <laughs> Brendan! Brendan? In the kitchen, Mom. Oh, Brendan, can you, can you help me with the, um... Mom, what are you doing? I'm fixing your laundry. Stop it, okay? Just stop it right now. Oh, Paula, don't take every little thing so personally. You're unfolding my underwear. Because you didn't fold it correctly, dear. I folded it just fine, okay? You always do this. Brendan, don't you have a movie to go direct or something? I, I Paula mean, actually is doing, uh, helping me out Brendan, here, Brendan, so. go. Okay. Paula, this is exhausting. Would you grow up? Grow up? Mom, can uh, Jason and Melissa stay for dinner? Sure, honey. Thanks. Grow up? You're acting like a child. A child? This is like Tijuana. I'd like to put some money down. Thank you for supper. You're a very polite little kid. Thank you. I don't trust polite kids. Sorry. Mom, you can't stay here anymore. You have to leave. Tonight. John, do you want another meatball sub? Sure, these are great. Keep them coming. Wait, Paula, you're kicking me out? Hey, Melissa, look it. <laughs> That's cool. Das Boot. Das Boot. Das Boot. Dad, what are you doing here? Well, I'm lonely. And I ran out of sherry. I want to stay here, too. Oh, God. Now I'm really going. Watch this. Hey, Grandpa. Brendan. Yeah, how you doing, Grandpa? Oh, you're, you're shooting right up there. Yeah. Yes. All right, I'm going to my room.
Your grandmother and me just don't see eye to eye on a lot of things. I think it's because of the height difference. She was a chaperone at my senior prom. Did I ever tell you this? What, did she embarrass you? Was that... No, my date stood me up, bailed on me at the last minute, and I stayed home and cried all night while my mother went to my prom. Have you ever uh, thought about uh, taking a swing at her? Yeah. Oh, we just had a moment, didn't we? Huh? Didn't you and I just have a moment, Mom? No, I don't think we've had the moment yet, Brendan. How much time has to go by before we have a moment? Several moments. You know, I've got a meeting in a couple That was of the moments. moment. Oh, where was I? You missed it. You were talking. I was. <laughs> as far as moments go, Mom, that wasn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Oh, Paula, you startled me. Gave me a start. It's, uh, it's going slow. Real slow. Like that. I mean, it's going not, it's going like that, pretty much. You want a beer? No, I've already, oh, sure. I'll have one. Well, what, what is it? Are, uh, Jason, are you sick? In my heart, Brendan. In my poor little innocent beating heart. <sighs> My parents are getting divorced. What? Oh, that's awful. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really bad. Wow. Hold on a second, guys. They're going at it again. Cut it out, you two! I'm on the phone with my friends! Wow. It's really bad here, guys. Yeah. There's definitely a divorce coming on. Oh, hold on a sec. Again. Give me a break! He doesn't want chicken, Mom! Give me a break! Please stop yelling! I can't stand the yelling! Uh, Jason? Why the yelling? Why the yelling? Jason? Why? Make it end! Jason? Make it end! I totally relate to you guys now, you know, about the divorce thing, because, I mean, <laughs> looks like they'll be divorced by the end of the day. Jason? Yeah? Your parents aren't really getting divorced, are they? Huh? They're staying together, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Your parents aren't even there, are they? I don't know. It's just that, you know. It's okay, Jason. Jason, sometimes people just stay together. Yeah, it's not your fault. No, it's not your fault. <sighs> I guess. Uh, well, okay. So, what are you guys doing? Well, we're waiting for you. Oh, am I supposed to be over there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, I... I had to stay here to f do the whole thing about faking my parents getting divorced. Right, right. But now that the jig is up... Yeah, I'll come right over. Thanks. Brendan, when I started this job, I wasn't going to let it beat me. No, I remember you saying that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a quitter. No, 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 you're not. You know, when I take something on, I take it on. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm a fighter. Well, yeah. I am. Yes. I quit. Tell your mom I quit. I don't want to tell her myself. I can't face her. I'm a beaten man. Here's the checklist. One, do not use the stove. I think I hooked up the wrong pipes. Two, do not use the bathroom. And three, don't go in the bathroom. Right. Because I use the bathroom. Right. And then I realized that the bathroom doesn't work because I ruined the pipes. See you at practice. Coach, 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 coach. This isn't finished. What isn't? The kitchen. Oh, I know that, but the scam is. <laughs> well, that's, that's something else, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, good job. See you in court. See ya. <laughs> Uh, Mom, wh wh what are you doing uh, over there? What? What's that? I'm just, I'm Wait. just refolding my underwear. Is it okay if uh, Doris comes over and finishes my movie with me? Yeah, it's fine, Brendan. It's fine. You know what? I'm, I'm glad that you two get along. You know, we might not, but I'm really glad you two get along. Thanks, Mom. But uh, can we send Grandpa home? He's really starting to smell. Yeah, I was waiting for garbage day. I thought we could just push him out. No, I mean he's actually uh, smelling things, which is weird. <laughs> I'm here serving three life sentences. Funny thing, life. <laughs> so, what are you in for? Nothing. Right, right. I didn't do anything. 
Complaining only makes it worse. You gotta play the hand you're dealt, kid. Yeah, but I, I actually really didn't do anything. Well, then you should scream your head off. Hey, lowlifes. Hi. Hey, uh, hey, warden. What brings you down to the hole? Hey, Dumper, your landlady's here to see you. Landlady, please get me out of here. Are you gonna pay me the money you owe me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pay you the money that I owe you. But you don't have any money, do you, Dumper? Ooh, that's not in this... Uh, um, well, I do have it, and it's under... Uh, hidden in, in my bed, underneath it. That's all I wanted to know. You know you're even stupider than you look, Dumper. Yes, I know that. What? We got him, we Winooski. Got him. That's right, Mulligan. All right, Mulligan. <laughs> Woo! M Mulligan, Winooski, the detectives? That's right. So you guys are un undercover. That's right. All right, so when did you change the script and not tell me? It was Doris's idea. Cut. Oh, they should have cut with Oh, come on, Brandon. The way you had it was good, but I think my way is much more poignant. You know, I think you and I are going to have a little talk. I need a cigarette. Me too. Do I? I'll come watch. <laughs>